Good evening, wonderful world. What we got going on tonight, I'm going to change the clutch cable on the kid's bike with this Motion Pro clutch cable, part number 02-0579. So, the Motion Pro is supposed to be better. <clears throat> um, yeah. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just basically back everything out. Let's just do it. Why not? Why not? Because this thing's pretty maxed out, anyways, which is why I think we're having an issue that we're having. And there's a kink in the line, in the, whatever it's called right there. So, yeah, I'm just gonna back her on down, pleater style. And what I'm gonna do, hopefully I'm gonna try this. So, <clears throat> we got a lot of cable in here. We can pull that off. Gotta undo this nut right there. And what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to tape that end to this end and try to fish it through where it needs to go. So I'm not sure if it's gonna work. I also need to tip the bike, lay the bike over flat basically, and uh, pull the clutch cover off. Push the brake pedal down, or maybe I'll just take it off. I'll probably just push it down, shove a screwdriver or something in there to hold it down. Take this off, undo the clutch basket. I think it's six bolts and springs. Undo that pressure. I'm just going to back the bolts off until I can slide this out. So I'm pretty sure you just slide this out if you didn't watch my last video it is this part here so basically what's going on in there is that that uh push bar or whatever it's called the rod clutch rod somehow it's binding in there so I just need to pull it ever so slightly out about a quarter of an inch, back the pressure plate off, quarter of an inch, and then uh, that rod should back off, and then I should be able to slide this out. And I'm gonna inspect it if it's bad because the bar, the rod didn't look bad um, when I took everything apart. So if this is pretty bad, then I'm gonna leave the rod in there and just drop this in there because I cannot find a rod, a new one. I cannot find a new rod for this bike. Everything's used and everything's back ordered from all bike shops. Uh, Rocky Mountain ATV back ordered, Chaparral's back ordered, some other place I checked was back ordered. eBay, Amazon. Amazon said they had them, but it said used. That's why I don't like Amazon. So, anyway, let's, uh, let's get this started. I already did get it started for the most part. Gonna pull that off. Got to pull this little thing off. It does help if it's warm. If it's warm outside or inside or whatever. All right, let me back. Let me back this all the way out so that that piece will go over it. Now that we're through, take it out of there. Uh oh. Oh no. What will ever will I will ever will ever I do? Okay. Keep these parts somewhere. And this part right here. Kind of chilly outside. It's probably just gonna get colder. Um, 
Anyway. So yeah, hopefully I don't have to take any of these side panels apart. But if I do, I do. If I don't, yay me. I'm trying to do this one-handed. Okay, and that should be good there. The clutch cable comes in here. And goes down there, so. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Trying to do this on a whim. I don't really know what I'm doing. I've never, I don't think I've ever replaced a clutch cable before. Grab a light. This light, Harbor Freight light, sure. Well, let's stick to our Harbor Freight stand. Maybe it will. And I think it's a 12, not a 10. Oh boy. Stupid light. Why does it only want to go that way? <laughs> hmm. Anyway, we'll do this. Yeah, that's going to be a 12. Bike's too close. I think the kid did that. Grab a 12. Oh, might have to, might have to pause this. I don't think you guys really need to see all this. Yeah, you guys might have to hold off. So let me get it all off and loose and start pulling it through show you guys if it I'll tell you guys if it works and I'll show you if it works all right guys could not find a way to do the clutch cable the way it should be done or trying to fish it through um, so I just moved on to this the kid came home took the cover off got the bike laying down oils leaking out this hole Took the six bolts out, took the whole thing actually out, so I can slide that piece off. And, uh, gotta try to see if we can get you some good light. So you can see. So you can see that's, hopefully you can see that. It's kind of rounded over in there. Had it. So you see this one's rounded over in there and this one is square. So I don't know if you can see it's really flat along that surface. And this one is it's hard to tell. Anyway, you can see right there. It's kind of a flattened out or rounded out in there, so we're gonna stick this in, or I'm gonna stick it in. It's kind of hard to do because of the bikes laying down. But there's all kinds of oil leaking out. So let's put that in. Okay, it's back in. I don't know if you even saw anything, but I just did a little reach around. Stuck that thing on there. Then the rod. What I ended up doing with the rod. Because this side. Is pretty much brand new. This is the side that goes in there. So I'm going to stick this side. On the clutch side. And drop that side. In there. Because you can tell. Um, by that wear mark. The wear mark on this side is from this thrust bearing. So, anyway, just drops in there like that, and of course, it pushed it out. I gotta, I gotta do this off camera. So, I need seven hands. I'll be back. All right, I got it back in. I had to pull it out, drop the piece, and then. It was down too far, and then I had to bring it up a little bit. So anyway, uh, yeah. So now we could take 
clutch chinglingy. Put her back on. And I gotta figure out torque specs again on this mayonnaise. If I remember right, it was. Actually, I don't remember right. 180 inch pound. No, 120 because I went 60, 90. It was 108. 60, 90, 108. So 108 inch pounds. So let me get all this torque down. Get it all. Get the cover back on. And, uh, yeah. We will be back. And obviously, you gotta do crisscross pattern. Crisscross. And then you go jump. Jump. So, let me do that and uh, stand the bike up, hook up the clutch cable on that side and uh, see how the clutch feels. So I will be back. All right, people, <clears throat> YouTube, it is the next day, next morning, basically, um, or afternoon. I actually got called into work this morning early. Um, so I started doing his handlebars. So these are his bars. As you see the risers, tusk risers. I do have them. Um, I think they're offset backwards. So towards the rider more. Put grips on the clutch. Um, I put the new thing in there, the new cable. Definitely does not feel like mine. Um, what I ended up having to do is I had a hold clutch kit from my old bike um, And I had springs in there these springs are so stiff from the Wiseco kit that I installed um, But yeah, so I actually ordered some factory OEM Clutch springs because the clutch springs that were in here were a uh, Barnett uh, performance product clutch set from my 05 450 from back in 2005. I put those springs in there, and it worked. Um, they worked. It works. I can't say like normal, but I think it's good. But it's definitely not like this. I mean, this I can do. One finger. His clutch, I cannot do one finger. Um, can't even do two fingers. Oh man. I have to do whole hand. So, uh, put the Pro Taper grips on. Um, I got a wire tie them still. That's what these little marks are for. Basically, here, 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 here. Wire tie them. Like these. One, two, three, four. One, two over here. Those are just factory Honda. Uh, got a wire tie this side. Throttles on. Super smooth. With this ball bearing end cap. I actually had to drill out. I had to drill the end of the bar. Uh, nine sixteenths. So I had to go to nine sixteenths to get it to go in. Um, but anyway, here's here's the old bar. As you can see that this bar is worn thin. So anyway, that's why I wanted to change these bars. So yeah, so now I gotta do mine. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Um I don't know if the bars have been off this bike before or what the deal was, but all these wires were I mean they are to their max. You know, there's no cushion fine when you turn right when you turn left this is kind of tight and uh, that cable throttle cable is kind of tight so I don't know what the deal is I got all the slack I could out of them down in here up in there as you can see that's this is where they come from the throttle body have them pulled as tight as I can and uh, yeah 
kind of is what it is. So, um, waiting on the springs. I'll put those springs in there, see if it makes a difference. I also ordered a pads. Pads for this. Um, he did have some scraping here, which was on the little uh, louvers, which was on that side. But now I got them zip tied through the radiator. We'll see how long this one lasts because by the exhaust. So, anyway, um, yeah, I'm wore out. Um, I came out here, was working on them, and then uh, got a call to go out to work. And uh, it was just me and a track inspector, which is usually me, a track inspector, and another guy, or it's usually three people. But uh, one guy didn't want to come out, and the other guy was too far away, and then the rest of the guys, no answer. So, anyway, it was just me. I'll take the money, I guess. Alright guys, bike's looking good. Um, I was planning on doing this this morning and going on a ride with the kid, but I don't see a ride happening today. For one, I'm exhausted. For two, I'm dehydrated. Three, I gotta eat something. You know me, I always gotta eat. But the bike's looking good. It's looking really, really nice. Sticker's coming up a little bit in here. But I'm liking it, I'm liking the bike. Looking really, really nice, a little dirty. I don't know why these don't stay. They're supposed to stay. If you can see down in there, it's supposed to set on those holes, but I don't know what the deal is. So I might have to uh, do something for that. But anyway, I'm going to go inside. I'm going to go eat something. I'm hungry. And uh, yeah, I think the fork seals are fine. I think they were just dirty. We took the dust covers off, cleaned the seal. We tried to clean the seal. And the, these are air shocks, so it had air in them. And all they did was pff, like that that anyway um for those of you that like to go and say how did that go um so i think the seals are good because if they're not good they'll leak air and if they leak air then uh they're no good but it's holding air one side had 30 i don't know 25 psi the other side had uh i think 30 psi and you gotta use this special hoity-toity pump Gyro, G-I-Y-O, air supply, goes to 300 PSI. So, anyway, had to buy that. That was, I bought it used, it's uh, 25 bucks, but new, they're 50 bucks. So, you know me. But it was, it was brand new, it was, all it was was open boxed. So, alright guys, gotta go get some to eat, I need some drink. See you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Do what you guys do. Keep doing what you guys are doing. Be safe out there. And I'll uh, see you on the next video. Later.